Son of Rome is an action-adventure hack-and-slash game played in a third-person perspective. Players assume control of Marius Titus, a Roman general who is on a quest to avenge his murdered family. Throughout the game, players gain access to weapons that can be used to assault enemies or defend themselves. For instance, players are equipped with a sword that can be used to strike and kill enemies, and a shield that can be used to deflect enemies and attack and break their defense. The strength of each attack can be decided by players. In addition to melee-based combat, the game features spears and javelins, which serve as ranged weapons. The game's combat puts emphasis on flow, a term referring to a player's ability to move on to fight against other enemies upon defeating and killing an enemy within few limitations in between. Combo is combo-based, and rewards are given to players who are able to build a long combo. Marius can block attacks to break enemy combos to counterattack. In several segments of the game, Marius is involved in large-scale battles. Players are tasked to cooperate with or command other non-playable characters to defeat large number of enemies. The game features kinetic voice integration in which players can issue commands to other characters to provide assistance, such as calling in arrows or catapults. When players deal enough damage to an enemy, they can activate an execution sequence. Once the execution sequence has been initiated, enemies involved in the execution are highlighted automatically with colors by the game players can perform a series of quick time events by pressing the appropriate buttons. There are four perks available for players. One boosts the player's damage for a short period after the execution. One refills the player's focus bar. One allows players to regain lost health. And the last significantly boosts the amount of experience points received from the kill. These experience points can be used to purchase upgrades for various attributes such as health, damage, or focus bar capacity, and to unlock additional execution moves. The game still automatically completes and finishes these execution sequences when players fail to press the highlighted button, but provides a much smaller reward. Lining up two or more weakened enemies in close proximity allows the players to perform a double execution sequence, which greatly increases the reward granted. There is also a cooperative multiplayer mode in which two players team up to accomplish various challenges and fight against waves of increasingly difficult enemies in the Roman Colosseum, a gladiator arena settings. The environments of the Colosseum change dynamically in a match to add variety to the mode. The players can gain access to increasingly advanced armor and weapons as they progress through these multiplayer matches. Microtransactions are also featured, allowing players to purchase in-game upgrades with real-life currency. Rise Son of Rome received mixed reviews. The game's story received praise from critics, but critics had divided opinions on the game's multiplayer. But there was a controversy. A Federal Trade Commission investigation uncovered an undisclosed paid endorsement deal between Microsoft Studios and Machinima Inc. Microsoft Studios paid for fake organic reviews and bound Machinima Inc. to not portray Microsoft, the Xbox One, or the launch titles in a negative manner. Rise Son of Rome was specifically listed in the FTC document as being one of the titles to receive fake reviews. Marius? It's good to see you again. Oh, how do I look? Every inch the Roman soldier. You look fine, my son. Welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. Do you know where you're to be posted? Alexandria. Ah, Alexandria. That's a quiet province. Your mother will be pleased. I didn't join the army to bask in the sun, father. 
I want to fight like you did for the Empire. All in good time, my son. All in good time. Remember, not all your enemies will be found on the battlefield. Father? Marius! Oh. Let me look at you. So handsome. Mother, please. Your sister is eager to see you. You will see her soon enough, my love. For now, I wish to speak with our son alone. Fine. I shall go and find your sister. Is there something troubling you, father? We will talk in good time. For now, let's see what you've learned. It's a sad but proud day. The day a son first beats his father. You may have mastered the sword, but never rush to meet the world with it drawn. Always come open-handed first. Walk with me, son. I've heard rumors there is great unrest in Rome. Yes, these are dangerous times we live in. This election could change everything. I'm giving this to you as your grandfather once gave it to me. When your time comes to command men of your own, think back on what I'm about to tell you. Legend says that Damocles was a great warrior. A revered leader in a vast army. During a massive battle, his cowardly commanders abandoned him. When the slain Damocles arrived in the underworld, Nemesis, the goddess of revenge, was enraged at how the brave hero had been treated. She allowed Damocles to return to the world as a vengeful spirit, a ghostly, black-armored centurion, who would hunt down and kill each of the generals who had wronged him. To this day, many commanders carry a dagger with the image of Damocles on the scabbard. This dagger reminds them to always look after their men or risk the black centurion returning from the dead to avenge their selfish mistakes. Septima! Barbarians! Follow me! That way, there lies your destiny. Run. You must save Rome. Save it from... Save it from there. 
You bastards! You murdering barbarian bastards! I will do as you bid, Father. I will save Rome from them. I'll spill their blood. I'm Commander Vitalian of the 14th. I fought with your father. If it's blood you want, I promise I will give you as much as you can handle. You were the second, aren't you? Yes, sir. Not anymore. Welcome to the 14th, lad. Vitalian oversaw the completion of my training and made good on his promise. As part of the 14th, I'd soon have all the blood I could ever want. The island of Britannia, that fetid lair at the edge of our empire, was home to the bastards that had slaughtered my family and led the very rebellion which had spewed onto the streets of Rome. My posting with the 14th would take us to these isles where I would wreak my revenge, crushing this insurrection. Lads. The brave man tastes death once. Cowards, a thousand times over. Now we have already spilled barbarian blood. And we know they bleed as we do. Ready! 